it is so incredibly obvious that are that if you are an absolute oblivious moron who knows nothing about your own country or the political or the or, or the, the government uh, that runs it then you shouldn't have any say over it and that my friends is the definition of fascism what is good youtube family it's your boy the black anomaly here with black anomaly rising so today we got this video of matt walsh I haven't talked about Matt Walsh yet, but I got a lot of thoughts on this cat. So he did the whole What is a Woman documentary documentary movie, which I have seen. I'm not really going to get into all of that, but like I see where he's coming from with a lot of things. But this is one of those situations where I'm like, dude, you're getting radical. Okay, you're getting a little too radical for me. I got a limit. See, a lot of folks watching this might think because the pendulum is... I mean, things kind of shifted a lot. Like, I used to be, like, very staunchly Democrat. Then I started moving, like, more to the right. I definitely consider myself more, like, a centrist because I don't really believe in a lot of stuff from both sides. I kind of somewhere in the middle. Like, you can't just be loyal to one team. Then you start just capping and BSing when things start kind of looking a little fishy and a little gray. So I'm like, nah, I'm independent. I ain't going to be out here. I'm worried about me. I'm worried about my family my friends, and things that impact all of us, the black community. I am black, so of course I care about the black community. I care about black people, okay? <laughs> but this is one of those things where he's talking about voting, and he's saying that he doesn't think everybody should be able to vote. Now, I'm going to let him get into his argument real quick, and then I'm going to tell you all what I think. The, 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 these people should not be allowed to vote. I mean, you hear people say that in a half-joking way. Oh, I can't believe these people can vote. But, but really, they shouldn't be able to. Like, actually, they should not be able to vote. That should be something that we, that, that becomes a serious topic of conversation. Okay, like the kind of thing that comes up on presidential debates. Okay, like an issue that political parties have to deal with in their platforms. We should really be talking about this. That there are a lot of people who are voting in this country who should not have that right. They don't deserve it. And as I've tried to explain many times, the right to vote, it is not a God-given right guaranteed to everybody regardless of anything. It's not. Okay, it, 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 it's, not it's not fundamental to your human nature that you automatically are entitled to um, have a say over the you know, political system in your country. It's not. There are some basic guidelines that should be in place. You should, you should have to earn that right. Not everybody should have it. And it is so incredibly obvious that, our, that if you are an absolute oblivious moron who knows nothing about your own country or the political or the, or, or the, the government uh, that runs it, then you shouldn't have any say over it. So here's the problem. And I've heard a lot of folks like kind of on the right more so say this than folks on the left. So here's the problem that I have with this type of mentality in this thought process. It's based around like who gets to decide who is eligible to vote and who is knowledgeable enough. Like who gets to make that determination? Is it going to be based off a test? Because they tried that before and then it turns out they were giving some people a test and not other people to test. The tests were different. Like, there was all kinds of like little BS that they were pulling. And in this day and age, you really think that they wouldn't pull some BS again? Like, have y'all been paying attention to what's been happening over the last couple of years? Everything's been like bananas in all of politics with all kinds of just nonsense going on, manipulation of numbers, and the way the voting was going on during the 2020 election. Like, things have gotten crazy. So you really want to Go back to a path where you're allowing someone some sort of power because, like, look, okay, Matt Walsh, he's talking about, okay, people need to earn the right to vote. What if somebody makes a determination that, well, you don't know enough about the government uh, or you don't know enough about, or, like, you don't agree with a certain ideology, so you shouldn't be able to vote because you're dangerous to the country. Like, you see how this could go, this could backfire tremendously. This could be, like, crazy because anybody could come up with anything, any type of arbitrary benchmark that makes sense to them. As to why you shouldn't be able to vote. Like, 
it, just, it doesn't make any sense. I don't think a basic civics test is never going to turn into a basic civics test, right? What if they put on a test something about gender where you, if you put, like, you're born, like, because this is his thing, right? Like, the whole gender ideology is a big Matt Wall. That's pretty much his claim to fame here, right? So what if they put, like, okay, uh, a man is born a man and a woman is born a woman, and they put that on the test. And then if you answer it correctly, then, <laughs> you know, they're like, well, no, that's not exactly how it works. And they put some gender ideology BS in there. Then you're not going to like that. You see what I'm saying? Anything can happen depending on who's in charge and who's responsible for it. So you can't just say, well, oh, these people are too idiotic to be able to vote. Everybody has to participate in the country. Like if you're over the age of 18 or if you have any type of job or just a participant in general, like you're some sort of contributor, you're, I don't know, buying groceries, merchandise, you're paying taxes in one shape or form or another. So you're still beholden to the systems. Now, if you could like opt out of taxes, <laughs> so if you say, hey, I don't want to vote, so I'm going to opt out of taxes, I'm going to you know, opt out of certain government services and stuff like that. If there was a way to live like that, which is pretty much impossible to do i don't know if anybody's doing that but i'd say it's damn near impossible to do that to opt out of every single thing and stay totally off the grid then okay maybe that makes sense but if you're talking about people who are essentially forced to participate it's not really an opt out of government program <laughs> so you're pretty much stuck with them the only way you could opt out of it is just packing your stuff and leaving the country <laughs> so if you're here you're still stuck with it doesn't matter if you're 18 years old and it's the first time you voted. You don't really know much about politics. You're being indoctrinated. I mean, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that people that are like really young would support. Because, I mean, they're just straight up being brainwashed by colleges and stuff. They try to do it to me. Some of it I fell for. Some of it I didn't. Now I'm older and wiser. And I got all of that stuff out of my system. I started seeing how the real world worked. And things eventually balance out. Because, I mean, there's a lot of people who... Or, you know, obviously are older who have the ability to vote than people who are younger. If you're between the age of 18 to what, like uh, 30, 35, like that group is actually not that big of a group compared to like the, the rest of the voting population. If you go 35 to like freaking 80, 90 <laughs> years old, that's a lot of freaking people. That's way more people. So, of course, those people are going to make wiser decisions for the most part, not all the time. So, it's just one of those things where I just can't, I can't get with you on that, man. And anybody else who says stuff like that, I'm like, look, if you got to pay the taxes, you got to deal with all the BS, like you got you to pay these high behind prices because of inflation, you know, all of the gas, all of the groceries, you know, you got your income tax, you, the Social Security, you can't really opt out of that, Medicaid, like you, you got to deal with all of this stuff, you know. I don't think that they should be like, hey, we're going to take your voting right away. You know, like, it's just one of those things where I feel like you should get to the, any rights you got. I'm not for taking away anybody's rights, okay? <laughs> like, to take it away rights unless they're, like, an actual criminal, not some BS made up crimes. Because I know people love to try to, you know, make something up. Like, oh, we, this is, we're going to lock this person up and then we can take their freedom away legally. Like, nah, if it's a real crime, like, you murder somebody, you stealing cars, you know, you, you doing armed robberies. Okay, fine. Take the freedom away. I don't give a damn. They're an actual real criminal, <laughs> a degenerate. <laughs> okay, but if you're like a real regular person, outstanding, you know, you're, you're a worker, you're going to school, whatever. Taking voting rights away, Matt. Like you kind of done lost me on this one, Brad. Like I, you know, I agree with you on some things, but on this one, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Let me know what y'all think, y'all. Uh, you agree? I mean, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, because maybe y'all feel like nah, some people are just so dumb. They shouldn't be able to vote, but I'm probably never going to agree with, with anybody about that. But if y'all disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know why. Appreciate y'all watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Black Anomalies. It'll be in the description. Appreciate y'all watching. We out.